What's up, y'all? Today, I'm going to be going over the best offer SMMA right now. I fucking hate that term, but regardless of your niche, regardless of what industry you're in, the offer that I'm seeing work the most. Now, you kind of got fucking clickbaited. Sorry, I got your ass. There is no best offer, quote unquote, right? But this is just the top offer that I've seen dozens of agencies over 100K a month running and hundreds of agencies over 30K a month running. So it's like, it works. And it's quote unquote, like the one that I'm seeing work very, very, very well. And I'm gonna go into a few reasons why. And so this is not some crazy complex stuff, right? It is literally just what is working in the industry right now and it's simple but this is my client origin jake right collected you probably can't even see but 13k in a week this is their third payment processor they're on in the month of april they've collected so much fucking money but so this is one of my clients origin jake they've collected 13 grand this week with this exact same offer right so we practice what we preach i'm running a solar agency right now and we're running the exact same offer i'll show you guys the ad account in a second but i'm not gonna make you wait 15 minutes the offers only pay on results with a setup fee now i'm gonna explain why but of course that's the best offer you can run when you pay when you perform right but like there are so many ads like this ad right here is from a roofing agency at like 95k a month i know i told you we're running a solar agency right now and you see this is one day of ad spend let me pull up the ad account for you guys after this but one day of ad spend 400 bucks spending 500 total spent 80 leads for six dollars we're getting 11 dollars appointments so this is like in the ad account these live these ads aren't live anymore but based off literally these three ad sets we got around 80 leads and this is literally the exact ad we were running right we have eight different video creatives solar pros stop burning cash with shitty marketing agencies only pay per installed deal that's right we generate the lead right literally only pay per installed deal this is the copy headlines all stuff like that right so like we practice what we preach and like these are agencies doing very very well and so like business is just numbers right at the end of the day it doesn't care about your emotions it's literally just math right if you do the math to be able to put the inputs in to see the output which is like the result that you want you are going to succeed and like it does not care about your feelings it doesn't care that you want more money like you can want money is more than anybody and you're, you're not going to have it unless you're worthy of it right and so like if you can get leads at this cost for six bucks or appointments at 11 bucks if you can get appointments at 11 bucks you get 20 appointments that's 200 bucks for 20 appointments you can't close one in 20 and so then it's just like a fucking game of math that we're always going to have a good cpa or like cac right the reasons why this offer is like obviously so good is because of a few reasons right one you get way cheaper appointments which i showed you right here if you're running ads now if you are dming people you're gonna get way more positive replies on your dms which is like the main thing that i want to get across to you guys is that like if you have appointment flow if you have a flow of leads into your business it really does not matter anything else you will you will be able to find customers and make money you need leads right when it comes to ads or when it comes to dms your script is only so good i would really rather have a not optimized ad or script like an ad creative or like script for the dm or cold call or cold email or whatever but have a really fucking rock solid offer that is going to take us 10 times further than like vice versa right first you're going to get way cheaper appointments and way more of them one to allow you or your closer to get more reps in at sales but then close re actually increases because you're actually incentivized to perform. If we're offering pay on results, like an example, this would be like $2,000 setup fee plus 15% of all revenue we bring in, right? It's like, okay, they want, they have skin in the game because we want them to perform. We're incentivized to, to do good in our ads and our media buying and our appointment setting. Cause if we don't, we're not gonna make any fucking money, right? What are we gonna do, scam you for 2K? And so like at the end of the day, it's like 2K is nothing to a business, right? And so like, it's like, I'll kind of get into that in a little bit, but like close rate actually increased because you're incentivized to perform. Two, three, you make money off the setup fee. So let's say the setup fee is 3K and then whatever performance you make month one. So let's say that setup fee is 3K plus 15% and you bring in 50K in revenue. You make that 3K plus the 7K of like commissions that you make. So you end up making like 10K month one. At most times I see like between two to 4K setup fee and then we make some money off the uh, commissions and, and rev share and it'll end up being like five to 8K month one, right? Essentially it's way easier to acquire clients bringing you more cash and it actually makes you want to perform for your clients, caring about clients and client success, which in turn increases LTV, right? Basically meaning that your clients are going to pay you more for longer and will lower your CAC because of referrals and power partners. If you're doing well for your clients, they're going to bring you other people. If you ask, that's just how it works because they like you. And power partners, for people trying to come into the program, you can have some of your clients that are doing well, call the clients and basically try and close them for you. So like these are two things that are really, really solid to lower CAC. Referrals, some like actionable tips to actually implement that is literally just ask for a referral. Hey, do you know anybody that would be good, right? And give them some sort of referral fee, like 500 bucks or something like that. And then power partners. If you have a client that's crushing it, 
you can offer to pay him or whatever every time he talks to a potential prospect who might join the program. If you have really good client success and it can do these two things, this can literally drop your CAC and your cost per acquisition, how much you pay to acquire a client by like 30%. And so essentially, if you have more clients, you make more money and you have a bigger business. Now, Hermosi talks about like the way to measure a business for like enterprise value and like to see how profitable it is. And like, if it's a business you actually want to have or buy, it's lifetime value right compared to customer acquisition costs like cac right and so like if that number is more than three that's a profitable business that you want and so like that would mean that you're if you spend 500 to acquire a client you have to make 1500 off of them which is very very easy if you have these referrals power partners and you're making money in action and you're actually performing for your clients let's kind of break this down into an into an example that like i would run for you guys like if you were running appointment setting and lead generation and like a marketing agency quote unquote it would be like 3.5 to 5k setup fee plus 15 per 10 10 to 15 percent on the back end and now this just depends on your niche you have to know your niche and you have to know the margins of your niche if you're asking for 10 to 15 percent on like a higher ticket deal like and they don't have great margins it might not be the smartest thing like maybe ecom 10 to 15 percent might be a little bit steep right and so if you're not doing appointment setting i would go like two to four k setup fee plus that same 10 to 15 percent on the back end right and so like these are offers we're literally seeing fucking crush right now literally right and so like these exact offers we're running so much and it's killing it now some small variations of this offer that's currently converting so something that a lot of people are doing which i'm not actually like a huge fan of but it works it's called a bait and switch offer which like it's exactly how it sounds like on the ad or on the messaging whatever you say it's paper performance and then on the sales call you do an a b close which like a is the performance option that doesn't make sense b is like the uh, the option you actually want them to pick so i'd be like kind of walk you guys through the sales process that it would look like is like okay the prospect comes in they see an ad or they get a dm that says oh yeah we offer only pay per close deal or we offer you only pay when you get paid a type thing like that only pay per patient if you're in like dentist or it just depends on the industry only pay per whatever and so they click that they see that and they're like okay no that sounds really fucking solid i'm gonna make money and then pay them right then they come on the call we go through the sales process exactly the same whatever vsls we have whatever it's a two one call close whatever and we take them through offer a which is 500 bucks daily ad spend required 60 percent of revenue we bring in we take there's no guarantee so like this offer sounds like shit like i don't want to pay 500 a day in ads that's insane that's what what is that like 15 grand a month in ad spend like i don't want to pay that and then 60 percent of rev that we bring in that's not profitable at all like that's not even an option that we can pit but then the other one's like oh second option is just 2k a month retainer no monthly ad spend and you get your money back guaranteed 1x 2x roi guaranteed and so it's like oh offer a eh? like i don't really want that so we're trying to make it seem like oh we're, we genuinely both are an offer and like you can pick either but like most of our prospects pick offer b right what this allows us to do is still get appointments at the same cost but also sell a retainer, which is a slightly more profitable model, but your close rate is gonna go down overall, right? And at times, prospect's gonna feel deceived, but like the offer's working, the offer is proven to work. There's a bunch of people that I know like running this offer and it's working for, right? I personally would do this. What I'm seeing work really well is this two to 4K range for just lead gen. Honestly, it's like working really, really well. And then this three to 5K for appointment setting and lead gen. It's basically like you're selling a pit, right? You're just collecting that cash up front. If you can really, really perform for them, you can always ascend them or do something else. The main thing that I want you guys to realize is 99.99% .99 of people watching this are going to watch it and do fucking nothing about it and go click on the next video yeah and then they're gonna stay exactly where they are and so implement the shit that i'm telling you i promise you there's so many people running this that works like nathan bentley josh rivera both over 150k a month running the same exact offer right so go use the offer whatever on your ad on your dms just start changing the messaging start saying it's paper close see how many more replies you will get see how many more appointments you will get see how many more offers you will get go fucking see it for yourself so it works you have no excuses because everybody has the same exact information it's all on youtube it's all everywhere whether people are at 5k 100k 200k whatever all the information is out there it's just up to you whether you're going to go implement it or not so like the difference is again implementation so go use the offer Go get it done. Wish you guys the best of luck. Drop in the comments if you have any questions. I'll try my best to get back to you guys. And yeah.